Just don't right click there? the overlay. Hi, everybody. We're live. Bye. We're not doing timers today. We don't have anybody yet. Who oh, God. We're to? live. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Dave, we, we got eight real quick. <laughs> Our, I probably should have brought up my YouTube with Uh oh, Matt paused. Did he? Yeah. He did. Oh look, someone on 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 Matt's channel oh, gave us some um, yeah stuff. What? That's goofy. So Matt, can you see the chats? Oh, now I think it's working. For a minute, it said you're not connected to the internet. I'm like, that's probably not good. Yeah, you froze for a minute on our end. I thought you were doing something really creative. No, no. I'm literally just sitting here and then it, it goes live. And <laughs> then there it is. Flawless the entire time and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we're live. Yeah, yeah. It's not froze. pulling up YouTube. I'm, I'm trying to like pull up. Did I win? Like We don't know if you won yet. It. And yeah, we don't. Happy Thanksgiving, won. Ken. Yeah, everybody, just in case, happy Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> so are you getting the chats, Matt, on your site? Are, are you getting our chats? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it. I was just trying to look at, at my own stream on that one. Okay. Because it put up the whole thing. Uh -oh. All the places. You're again. Oh, there you go. You're wireless, yeah, Matt. Yeah, can't do anything on this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's not the not the way to do this. I I gotta stop touching other tabs right now. So, <laughs> well, otherwise, I mean, when I you're not touching assumed, things, it's... I kind of assumed all the the YouTube chats were probably coming in through through mine. Yep, and on our end, it it says paired. So Jaybird's watching you on yours, and so all the paired ones are from Matt's. Yeah. Paired is oh, from okay. Matt's. Oh, so, okay, because it says that on my end, too. Yeah, so on our end, oh, you're, so like, um, yeah, it's Dom fine. Torres says paired on your end? Uh, yeah. Jaybird also, okay. So, yeah, all the paired ones are are who's watching Matt's live stream. stream. Welcome. Um, I guess we can give you a little introduction to ourselves because... Some of you guys know us. Some of you guys do not know us, but we are Sun Distributing. Up here, oh, that way, Brittany is, uh, well, actually, this is Brittany. She is she is the mastermind behind the scenes, or, yeah. So, and then, of course, I am Rick. And or Bearded Man. Bearded, bearded man, man some people have been known to call me i i've been growing this thing for like a year now i'm trying to see if i can get it long i don't think i'm going to be successful so there is that and then all you guys know matt matt is taking a little at home time so that's exciting um mm -hmm. some of us will be doing that in a couple of hours yes so. thank you tim <laughs> matt does get enough viewers we need our watch time so we can monetize <laughs> just stay here Okay. Through a literal store. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We monetize through a store, so we do That's appreciate if you guys, you know, would come over and check out our uh, check out our website at some point. Um, okay. So see. somebody did ask though if we are going to talk about tools. We are going to talk about tools. So tonight or today, I guess it's not night for anybody. But so today, we thought we'd just kind of leave an open forum, and you guys ask away. What do you, what, what do you guys like to know? I mean, there's there, there's so many different facets of window tinting tools. You know, there's specialty tools, there's expensive tools, there's cheap tools. I'm wondering if Brittany has a picture of all the tools that somebody's going to get for free tonight. I do. Uh, oh, are you guys giving away a bunch of stuff with it? 
Um, no, you are. Oh, that's that's that. that's my favorite part. Matt gave oh, us they're a all my great stuff. big. Hold on, it's incoming. You're so prepared. Yeah, so, so we're uh, we're giving away boom. a bunch of studios. Oh, look at that! They took a good picture of it too. So I'm throwing in a bunch of studio goodies in with the keg. Um, and look, I actually, I signed it too. So I actually put my name on something. <laughs> so it's the full five gallon tank that I've been using for, um, I don't know, probably like a year, a little under a year, something like that for a while, uh, before moving to the three gallon. Um, so it's got a little bit of wear on it, but that makes it authentic. Um, it's, it is. It's, Pretty, pretty unique. There aren't aren't very many kegs that look like this out on the market, and it's cool because they did their the colors on the tint keg thing to match the studio colors, and then we got a bunch of shanks and um, squeegees Some and felt just kind cards. of yeah, yeah, the felt cards and and glass aid stuff. Yep. All of Matt's favorite stuff that you see him use every every time you see him stream. Ooh, are the green shanks stiffer than the yellow? No, they're the same. They're gonna be they're they're just green. They they look cool. So if you want a stiffer one, there there are the white ones. But those the green ones, those are special to the oh, okay. The this studio. is a lot of people in chat. Holy crap. Uh Kathy <laughs> would like to know day. what's the best tool you like to use to clean a full windshield to get down on the bottom and to squeegee. It's supposed to be clean. Um Get down on the bottom and squeegee. Uh, so usually like a side swipe, side swipe or a bulldozer. I'll use one and two. Usually like side swipe towards the bottom to squeegee it all. If it's a little harder to reach, um, you could use like a bulldozer. But side swipes on windshields are pretty good. I'm back windows bulldozers though. Yeah, I personally, I'm a believer that there's there's two swipe tools. There's the side swipe. And then there is the stroke, stroke doctor. doctor. And I don't know anybody. I know a lot of tinners. I don't know anybody that likes both of them. You either like the side swipe or you like the stroke doctor. Their handles are different. Um, stroke doctor is a little bit bigger and it's got a little bit longer blade. Now, me personally, I like that because I can swipe a whole back window out or a windshield really fast with it. But getting down at the bottom, I'm with Matt, bulldozer. And then there's also the uh, slim foot, which scares people because it's a real hard uh, plasticky material. But if you need to chisel something out at the bottom, it's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I like both. Um, I, I switched over to the side swipe a little bit more after the stroke doctor, but I was using stroke doctor for a while. So would a $100 steamer work or should I just go for the jiffy? Uh, they'll definitely work. You can use something cheaper than that, too. I ran into an issue, though, where I had to buy a more expensive one just because you just got to be prepared for when it inevitably dies. So you never know when that's going to be. I used a shark steamer for a couple of years. It was great. And then I couldn't find it anymore. Um, I don't think the Jiffy steamer, at least that I have, puts out like a, a lot more steam. <laughs> uh, but it's... Uh, they're they're more than good enough to to get the job done. They're just gonna they're gonna run out of uh, I don't know they're they're gonna break eventually. So yeah, one thing that I noticed is the cheap steamers. Like I mean, we've even seen them for fifty bucks at Walmart. You can get a decent steamer that is gonna yep. get the job done. Um, when you're talking about spending the extra money for the Jiffy, what you're really gonna notice is five ten years down the road the fact that you're still using it where the $50 steamers, like Matt says, you're going to inevitably you're going to replace it, but $50 so, versus 250 or $300, you know, for a steamer is, is quite a swing just for knowing that it's going to work tomorrow, you know? And right. Mm -hmm. So still are the green shanks stiffer than the yellow tanks? I answered that already. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brittany. Great. I wasn't program. paying attention. Uh, Jaybird would like you to send them the burnt hose with the hole in it. No, Rick already threw them out. 
<laughs> yeah, so I swang by Matt's shop today, and <laughs> I, I replaced this. It's still there replaced his hoses and swivels and stuff and made sure that all of his o-rings were right which um i'm glad i did and then we switched him over to fan tips on his sprayers and the old hoses yeah i don't know i mean it's just what i do when i when i refurbish something the old stuff goes in the garbage um the yeah, old so, stuff for me i don't throw i don't throw that stuff out i don't know why and then it stacks up and then <laughs> and then I, it just gets in the way but we used to do that just hold on to all the old stuff and mm -hmm. it, it gets eventually in the way. so do we have special tools to install ppf on door cups so the one tool that we have in stock that's designed for that are the fusion ppf cut and tucks i personally though um, I have a rubber spatula I got at the dollar store. Yeah. It works. No. Um, thing... it's just, sometimes they're a little thin, like flimsy. So you want to get like a, a harder one, but I like those a lot for that. Yeah. So the, uh, well, that wasn't very nice. The, um, flimsy ones you, you want to, like Brittany just said, that's what I was going to say, Brittany. You just took my words away. I did. Uh, well, here's one that you can talk about that I really can't. Best all around film. Um, uh, so I'm kind of biased on this one. There's a lot of good films out there and it's going to boil down to your specific needs. You know, I'm up here in Michigan. We have our own line and um, it's Helios. I've been, it, it's a line that I've been working on for God, almost five years now. And I, I, I've gotten it to the point where it's absolutely everything that I dream about when I use a film and it's for me, it's perfect, but I'm in Michigan too. So depending on where you're watching shipping for me could be up to like four days where you might have somebody with just as good a film. You know, Matt uses GeoShield and GeoShield, another great lineup. And I would like to think that I have better customer service than they do, but geez, they get praises from everybody that buys from them. Their customer service is on point. Yep. You know, I'm not, I'm not one of those companies that says that we have the best customer service. We have great customer service, and there's a lot of companies that do. Most of today, I mean, don't don't price shop film. If if you price shop in film, there's there's a reason that one is considerably cheaper than another. I mean, sometimes it's like if you go to the big brands like big big like Lumar, 3M, you're going to see a much higher price, and you're not going to see the quality difference. But like. Our Helios, GeoShield, um, a couple of other ones, Solar FX is one. You're yeah. going to notice the, the price ranges are real similar because you're getting a similar quality product. And mm -hmm. then, then you can find a company that's got something that's two-thirds the price or even half the price. Just know there's a reason for it because we all sell film for a profit. And we all need certain profit to keep our business alive. So if they're selling it for half the price, they're still getting that profit, which, you know. That's where, yep, you get into a lot of sketchy stuff. So we all we all want to not pay anything for film, but, you know, it's got to cost something. And there's, below that, you start getting into a lot of gray areas with window film where, you don't have as good of customer service. You don't have um, a lot of confidence behind the reliability of something. And when you're putting that on the line for your business, that's where like, yeah, it can be, it can, on an initial order, it can seem expensive, but if you start breaking that down per car, that's where the, the difference really is pretty negligible at that point to carry something that's that's a little bit better that you can have confidence in. So that's why I always right. get super annoyed. And, <laughs> you know, people want to ask me about this film or that film that they found on Amazon or, or wherever else for way cheaper. And it's like, I don't, 
I don't mind if you want to do that with your business. I'm just not going to take that chance on mine. I've seen that road too many times and, and I'm done trying to take those chances on it. We so. have two people that have brought up the Titan. One is asking if it's the best tool to use on the rear window on Jetta's. And another person is asking if the Titan is any good. I don't like the Titan. So the Titan is one of those tools <laughs> that you almost have to have it in your toolbox. It's not a go-to tool. Um, for some it. people it is, you know, I have one in my, in my toolbox and I use it when I need to on the Jetta. Maybe that, maybe that's a good option. Another good option on a Jetta, a couple of good options on a Jetta is the, the reach by tri edge. And <laughs> My 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 new favorite thing because it's so versatile is the green tail fin. And I know Matt's been warming up to the green tail fin too quite a bit. Oh yeah, I've liked that one for a while. It just works. It does. It's awkward to hold at first. You have to get used to using it. But like in in a back window like the Jetta or anything with a real deep um bottom that you, you can't hardly reach anything to. It gets all the water out. One swipe and you got a clean pass. You don't, you know, one thing that I hate, especially at my age, is climbing in and out of the car to see what I missed and what I have to re-get in those yeah. two areas. So, like, the problem with the with the Titan, they might, it seems like they at least addressed the issue that I had with it. Um, I don't know how much better it really is, though. But what I never liked about it is, like, it's, some of those squeegees, they have such a, a harder rubber edge to them that when you go to uh, swipe the bottom of a back window, you just leave lots of water trails behind. So you have to swipe it like 50 times just to clean everything out or something. That's why I like a side swipe. If you can get the right angle on a side swipe, that blade kind of just forms to the glass really well and then you can just sweep everything out. Same thing for, uh, um, what is it, like bulldozers, it sweeps out really good. Um, the tail fin is another one that sweeps out really good. Any of those squeegees that can kind of like bend and form to that contour, because it's such an awkward angle, you don't want to miss any water um, or potentially have like an air pocket get caught in there and then dry because then you're just, it's just a lost cause at that point. You can't peel the film back as easily and spray all that out and then try again. You just want it to be done with. Yeah. So any of those, yeah. any of those squeegees, like the, the problem with, um, with tri edges, uh, shortcut is it, it's good for those bottom corners, which is what they kind of designed it for, but you want to use it across the entire back window and it just doesn't form to that back window. It looks like it would, but as soon as you try it, it just, it leaves so much water behind it. It's kind of pointless to use there. So uh, what I so noticed about the tri edge <laughs> shortcut, um, since you brought that up. It seems like it would be a back window tool. And I try to find, because somebody spent a lot of money to produce that tool. So it's got to be yeah. a good tool for something. So I discovered, you know where you might use a conqueror on, on the side edges of the doors? Mm -hmm. I found that the shortcut works even better than a conqueror because the way the handle is, is something you're already used to holding that way. It's okay. comfortable and it, it's stiffer, so it gets more of the edge water out where the contour that? is a little a little more flexible. So I found that's my go-to place to use that. Again, it's not something I carry in my pouch on a regular because it's not an every car tool. I like to carry around the every car tools, you know, the things that are most yeah. universal. Yeah, I've seen... Uh... Like some people use side swipes <laughs> that way on, on side windows. Like the, the, instead yeah. of a handled squeegee, a lot of times they'll use a side swipe for the whole thing. So it makes Brittany's sense. over there, over there getting overwhelmed with. Well, yeah, we've got a lot of questions up. and then like <laughs> you guys talk a lot. I'm sorry. I love you, but well, you guys talk fine. a lot. They can re-ask it. <laughs> that's how it goes uh, on the stream. You just have you ever, camera. yeah, I was going to say, have you ever watched Matt's stream? You know, sometimes is, you got to ask. See, no, me, I'm happening. like, here's the answer real quick. Let's move on. Um, can Sun Distributing get in the long handle? I'm, I'm going to assume he meant handle. Green Gator. The only place I can find it is Lexan's website. I have to look. Yeah, Brittany, find that because I'm not sure I know what. You guys should be able to pull some of these up on your website too. 
Because we're talking about a lot of tools that people just have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah, in fact, I would, me, uh... but my stream's gonna freeze on my side. Oh, it looks like it a um, Actually, like a quick a foot, idea. but it's green. It looks just like a quick foot. I don't know. They don't have like. Can Can you share it? Can we see it? Uh. I think so. Um, they don't have like, a, what's it called? Like dimensions on it. So I don't know size wise how it compares, but let me see. Yeah. So like, well, you guys are trying to figure that out and bringing stuff up on my phone. Yeah. Oh, so Okay. Let me share my so screen. Is. This is, oh, well, there and is. then we're going to go to this. This is it. Oh, okay. Oh. So there we go. Um, so uh, possibly, I don't know, I have to look into it, but, you know, some of these places get, like, really cheap, crappy Chinese tools, and if that's where it comes from, in a lot of cases, we have no interest in carrying it. Well, I can speak on this a little bit, Brittany. Um, yeah. We, me and Matt was talking about this earlier today. So, oh, I like that sin distributing. I love that. We're going to have to work that into next year's Halloween. Um, me and Matt was talking about it. And, you know, we do have tools that are Chinese made on our website because there's there's not an American alternative. One thing that we try not to do ever is to push out an American made product or company for profit. And everybody knows you can buy Chinese products cheaper. So me and Matt were talking today that there are quite a few Chinese products now that, that don't have an American competitor. And it, I I'm, I'm going to look and bring those into our, uh, our catalog, if you will, because of the simple fact that we uh, we think that, you know, we should have the things that our customers want as long as it's yeah. not trying to put somebody else out of business. Yeah, and the quality and uniqueness of some of those things are, are hard to match here. So something like that would generally be a lot more harder and expensive to make. So some of those really unique things that just happen to work in this one particular instance, like that one looked like it was um, somebody mentioned that was like a, a one direction thing. I believe they have uh, a couple like one for left and one for right. So you can get those in, in both angles. I don't know if you can find them in both angles there, but I have seen them. So those are there's lots of little tools like that that mm, good amount of them are are, are kind of just like not generic but just like not not as important to carry because there's other tools that you have that basically do the same thing so there's lots of those little competitors but I think for the really standout unique ones those are worth those are worth carrying for sure right yeah uh, somebody says. I seen you use an orange squeegee, squeegee when shrinking outside on the door windows. What kind is it? Is that your orange crush? Um, so you wouldn't use that while shrinking. I'm not. I'm not sure. No, it wouldn't be directly for shrinking, but it might be. It might be like a snap shrinking thing. So like a squeegee down the window beforehand. That could yeah be what it is. So um, using it, but it, using if it it's orange. It, there's only one that I can think of, and that would have been an orange crush. So for like snap shrinking, I'll whatever handled squeegee I have at the time, um, I'll I'll squeegee the window down, and then I'll pick it up, and then uh, and then shrink it. So yeah, that would have been an the, orange crush. Do we That's have not... bottom loading tools? Um, so like, I don't. The question. No, orange. Rick. Um, what do we have for bottom loading tools? I mean, what's that red thing called? The edge tool. The edge tool. Yeah, that's a that's a decent bottom loading tool if if you want to use crush. that personally. One of those. Orange yes. crush. One of those deals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are we really out of the green tail fin, Brittany? You guys need to make your pictures a little bigger. I will find out.
Okay, we are out of it. Um, I'm going to a 4D tint training by Expel. You think it's worth it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't know who the, is it? I, I, okay, so, sorry, there's a lag. Um, there is a trainer for Expel that's been posting a lot. I'm assuming that's who you're going to see. Um, but I, I don't know for sure if they have like a handful of other trainers, uh, that are all to help helping teach classes. What I have heard is they generally focus a little bit more on like plotter cuts and those systems. So if you're going like all in on Expel and you're bringing the plotter and stuff, it'll definitely be worth it. But yeah. figure out an area that you really want to focus on too, and just make sure that's a part of your training. So don't feel like you missed out on anything because I think some people kind of go along with the class and then might not speak up or something or wait, or just, just make sure you bring something up and I'm sure they'll take care of it. But they yeah. have, uh, they have good training classes from what I hear. And Pablo, Pablo mentioned gasket pro tools. So that's, that's actually a place that I would suggest if you're looking for bottom loading tools. Um, the other option is, and actually this is my favorite option. It might be a little bit more money, but from Expel, they're exclusive. They're, they sell the Easy Tint, which we actually have one. Um, oh, I got to do my... Thick. Alex! Okay, I do, I do that at least once a stream. because I mute so that they don't have to listen to me yell into my microphone. Yeah. Um, while you're waiting for him, have you guys ever broke a windshield trying to remove a rear view mirror? Oh, never, never. Mean? You hit a certain yeah, level of pro, and it just Marco. never happens yep. again. Yep, that's what, the that's thing that's up on the shelf up front, the black. Yeah, thing. I don't, I don't know if he's if he's teaching the class that he's going out to. Um, I'm a little unclear of that. I, I'm sure he would though. He's been posting a lot of videos. It's cool to see. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just remember somebody coming back um, from that class that was in my chat once, and they said um that it didn't focus on on hand cutting hardly at all which which made sense but i would assume that they'll kind of help out with whatever you would need just make sure yeah. you, you kind of get those things ahead of time so if you're just kind of like along for the ride then then it'll be a good class but if there's something in particular that you want to find out then just bring it up um when i went to expel ppf training they don't focus on hand cutting at all. They will not let you hand cut on the vehicles there, period, because especially with PPF, if you go too hard, you're damaging this thing that they need for oh. future classes. But, um, you know, you can still ask the trainers those questions, um, like if there was something you were particularly struggling with. And I don't know if the tent instructors won't let you hand cut or what it is because I haven't taken their tent class. But I know with PPF, they wouldn't let us do it at all just because if we screwed up, which when you're brand new, there's a good chance you will, um, you know, that's going to damage something that they need. So yeah. they can't do oh. that. But they are very good about answering questions. So if there's anything you're running into as you're working, just make sure you note it. So when you go there, you can be like, hey, I was having a problem with this or with that. And they can help you on those more specific issues. I'll... Uh... Really quick, this is this is an easy tent. It's a little bit larger, but what's cool it's about this, it's a food tray. No, what's really cool about this is so you you stick this edge here into the into the gasket and it just rests on the window. So when you go to bottom load, your your forearms just naturally push on this. So it pulls the gasket out of the way, it opens it wide open you almost never have to pull a seal using this thing. And I mean, I'm not a bottom loader, but I had to buy it because I wanted to see if it really was all the hype. And it really does do the job. Everything out there um, on that other website or any other websites, Gasket, um, <laughs> Gasket Wizards, those, those, things, thing. those things require you to like strap something down or grow a third arm or you know something like that this thing it just flows with your install style so it just it just works and they won't let me sell them they said to send my customers to them because they're the only place you can buy them so yes <laughs> expel.com i believe it is and yeah you can buy it i think they're like 80 bucks but i mean it's really nice it's it's powder coated it's and that's the other thing it's coated you know, everybody else wants to give you some raw stainless steel and 
turn you loose and they they actually put a lot of thought in behind it and it's got these neat little notches too so you can get all the way up um see that little notch right there by my face so that can slide all the way up to the gasket and pull it behind the gasket so we're we normally struggle the most to tuck our film in in the corners it opens that right up so it's it's pretty amazing yeah the easy oh, 10 for my loading bucks. feels thick i i agree with that i didn't give it much of a chance but there's people that like it i don't even bottom load and i thought it was just fantastic but it is a little thick but it's got to have the stiffness to you know some of those gaskets some of those seals are really tight and yeah you need leverage and against them so when you're trying to like place it in there that's where i was like oh god i feel like i'm gonna break away that's where get this well here. that's that's where the shank comes in so you open it up a little with the shank, put the corner in, and just slide it right in there. And it <laughs> you bottom right load, in. you shank in the bottom loading tool so you can bottom load. Yes. Uh, or please, <laughs> please discuss tool scratching tint. Okay. We can the, discuss. You know, they can do that. They that's they a, should be replaced every once in a while, especially like triage tools and stuff like that. They're they're all made of like throughout the same material but that material can start to wear and show scratches and stuff. There are like, they have the smooth it, um, which, which you can use on those tools to help keep them lasting longer. But there, there can be a couple things going on there. One can be the scratch coat of the film just isn't as strong. So you'll just naturally scratch it easier. So you got to be a little bit more careful and just replace some of these tools here and there. If you get something that's you're digging all these things into dirty seals and stuff like that, which is why, I don't use like uh, easy reaches as much as you see me use like triage corner tools, but I had to go through a number of squeegees um, with other films that I've used till I, till I had something that I felt would squeegee out enough water and then I wouldn't have as much of a scratching issue. Um, but it can definitely happen. So just some of them need to be replaced. Yeah. The, I mean, the bottom line is with the, especially your corner tools because you're you're stuffing them into dirty places um mm -hmm. tools by nature fresh out of the package don't scratch film you know a lot of people say well i don't like the easy reach because it scratches the film no it doesn't it seems to be more susceptible to pick up things that will and it's a harder material so it holds those things out more where like matt was talking about the tri-edge tools they're a softer more absorbent material i guess if you will not for water but for the contaminants the the contaminants will embed further into those making it less likely to scratch your film but what's scratching your film isn't your tool it's the dirt on your tool or embedded in your tool and so yeah like matt said you really kind of need to replace those we do have things like hard card sharpeners which mm -hmm. I can pull that up real quick and uh yeah and, and chat's pointing out you can sand them too so there's a lot of guys that'll take thousand grit sandpaper to their their tools well and um, since we're talking about it longer. um eric from tint Wiz, when we had him on he said that he had had a conversation with jay from triage and jay was telling him that because of i believe it was like the the slip additives that they put in the triage tools um he said hard card sharpeners are not great for those and it will compromise how the tool performs. So, you know, that's why he keeps them so cheap so that if something happens, you can just replace it. Yeah. Yeah. Hard card sharpeners. See, one thing that you don't think about is not only is there stuff, um, in, mixed with the material for the squeegee or the hard card or whatever, but there's also usually a coating on them. So once you start using a hard card sharpener, you just went past that coating. So you eliminated part of the part of the part of the product that you liked. And so the more you sharpen it, the less you'll probably like that tool. Um, someone wants to know, Matt, why do you bit mix the baby? I'm going to assume he meant shampoo with Dawn dish soap and water. Oh, that's just some weird crap that just happens to work better. So, yeah, baby shampoo, not baby powder, but. Um, when I was playing around with, uh, some different films, I would exclusively use baby shampoo and then 
for a little bit, I tried using Dawn just because different recommendations. Um, but with Geo, it's got such a tacky glue to it um, that mixing like a quarter Dawn and then like three quarters baby shampoo seems to give it enough slip that it doesn't have that tacking issue where I could put extra of just Dawn or extra of just baby shampoo. And for whatever reason, exclusively, they would both not work very well. But you mix them together a little bit, and it and it helped a lot more. I know a little bit of the reason behind that. Wow. Um, so you have your shampoos um, as, as one kind of slip, and then you have your, like, dish soaps, which is another kind of slip. And the makeup is a little bit different on both of them, and mm-hmm. they have different reasons that they create slip. So if a certain product isn't creating enough slip for you, when you add the other kind of product, it's adding different slip agents to it that might kind of work where this one failed. So adding more of this one might not succeed because what you're missing out on is what's in this one. And oh, okay. So mixing really... the two gives you a slipperier slip. Mm. So somebody should just put both together and sell them as a... It's a new tint slime. Uh, <laughs> well, so is and then somebody says, "Is, is tint slime soap good?" Um, yeah, to, to each their own. I use I like the ultra. Um, I think Rick like the like the green. I couldn't get behind the green at all, but I did like the ultra for a while. I like I liked the. I mean, something. Oh, I shouldn't even talk about it, but I mean, everybody's noticed something's different. And almost like every time you get a new bottle, it's different than the last bottle. And so oh. I struggle. Oh, we have, awesome. yeah. We, so I don't, I don't know. Cause it, it really makes you scratch your head when you get so far into it and you're like, like, I don't know, is this stuff not working anymore? And then you try it again and it is working you know, not out of the same bottle, but when we when you reorder, if it 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 makes you wonder, am I getting the same product? They claim that it's just a dye issue that you know sometimes the dyes don't match up. But you know, I have green bottles, and I have blue bottles, and I have pink bottles, and I have orange bottles, and <laughs> I'm not. It's and I got different shades of each color. It, it's it's mm. so. I mean, the product seems to work well still, and yeah, but it, it just for me, I I like to see the same thing over and over and over again. When I set two bottle, you know, I I get finished yeah. with one bottle, oh, and yeah. I look at the next bottle. I want it to look the same. Yeah. So, sure. Rick, um, I know you've used slip tape in the past. This person wants to know if it will help prevent scratches. Absolutely, and. Slip tape is one of those things that it's not like an end all be all. You're not going to tape your, your card or your squeegee once and be done with it. You're going to tape it every single day. You're going to retape it every single day. This is something that if that's what you're going to use, it'll not only prevent scratches, but it's going to protect your, your hard card and, and your, your whatnot. But don't be fooled. It's still susceptible for getting embedded contaminants in it and scratching film so it is less likely to it's very slippery but it's it's there is no completely eliminating scratch and film other than completely revolving your tools making sure they're clean after every swipe in a dirty spot wipe your tool off rub your fingers on it see if you've picked up any nicks because once you start nicking your tool up then that's that's where you start scratching the most frequently right so i think um sorry anyone whose question we didn't get to there were a lot of them with a lot of in between comments so i'm sorry we're just gonna have to skip to um actually probably the reason why everyone's here they want to see if they want a keg oh they are you for two hours before then no, we're oh, not going to make them wait two hours. Plus, use. you said you don't have two hours, so. Yeah, that's fine. We can do a giveaway. Okay. So let me go ahead and grab up the spinner. 
Whoa. There's a lot of names on there. There's a lot of names on the spinner there wheel today. A lot of names. There are 385 entries. That's a lot of entries, guys. Yeah, and that was after I removed the duplicates. So. Oh, Brittany, you're getting super loud. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I talked directly in. All right, here we go. So this is for my keg. I should this spin for longer for than that. Alejandro, Whoa. I'm not going to, I'm sorry. I'm not going to try and pronounce your last name. Last name. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. It's not going to be good. Just make sure you record that name because. Congrats. I will make you go back and watch the stream and find it again. Alejandro. Congrats. But that's not all because I am going to be given away things through this entire stream so, what? and we're going to use what what do you mean no what? keep going keep going well you just you just said what i said i'm giving away things through the whole stream because that's what i do do you have a problem with that no i love it go for it <laughs> but yeah so we we've got lots more to come and uh I might even give away some window film because when I got back from Matt's today, I was greeted with, do you want the good news or the bad news? And it sounded like expensive news to me. So I have, I guess you could say very expensive practice film. Is, is that a thing? Uh, it could be, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you make it a thing. So I have, um, I guess what happened was the 60 inch rolls were supposed to be cut 2040, but they got cut 2436. Mm -hmm. So I have a four inch roll and a 16 inch roll because <laughs> their their solution was a very expensive one. I had a better solution in my mind, but I wasn't here to make that decision. So um, they 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 chopped up what they had and then and, and and then let me figure out what to do with the rest. So the good news is 16 inch roll will do just about any sedan doors. Um <laughs> I don't think it'll do it won't won't do a ram pickup definitely won't do a ford no and certainly no, won't but... do a chevy pickup so yeah. your pickup trucks are out oh look at you take that yeah you'll be able to get a lot of sedans in there um so uh, no the winner does not have to be in stream to win um because we have their shipping yeah. information already so we can just send it to them so this is Helios. This is the Nova, 20%. The and four inch one would be good for Supernova. What Michigan legal front door? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Michigan legal roll, four inch roll. I'm just gonna say not, so even, the, not even windshield strips so much. No. Well, you know, where it's legal down to the AS line, uh, AS1 line, they you could you know, use it on like Camaros. They have about that much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And some of them. <laughs> I've actually seen people do that. It's like, really? So uh, anyways, okay. I'm, I'm going to give these away. So if, if you're into um, Brittany, you can go ahead and wipe that, that spinny wheel. Okay. For us and, and we're going to, um, put Brittany to work and actually we'll we'll turn Brittany off for a minute while she wipes that thing out because that's going to take her a minute there's a lot of names on there and so basically 16 inch sideways yes maybe 
five percent for visors too. Um, I also have some situations where um, I have some twenty percent twelve inch rolls because. One thing that a lot of people don't realize about distributors is distributors buy film in 60 inch sizes. Although we do sell 20s, 24s, 36s, and 40s. And if you do the math on them, 24 goes with 36 and and 20 goes with 40. But people don't buy them like that. You get a lot of people with platters, they'll buy a 36 or a 40. And then there's other people that'll just pound on you on the specific shade and, and 24 inch rolls and then you build up a bunch of 36s so there's there's always a big offset and sometimes during this covid time we'll get running low on stock and we're on back order waiting for something to come in and somebody will want a 24 inch roll and then we'll just cut a 36 for them that leaves us a 12 so i got a few 12 inch rolls of 20 percent. but i so if you, let us know for sure if you use um, 20% on windshield strips. I might might be able to hook you up with some Nova and Supernova um, windshield strip film for 20% because 5% is easy to sell. Everybody wants a short roll for 5%. And if you want a short roll for 5%, that's another thing that we can do is you order a 20-inch roll and have us cut it 10-10 or a 24 Or a 24, yeah. 12, 12. And... Uh, uh, David Weimer out. wants to know, 12-inch might actually be decent for back windows on trucks, no? Trucks are usually a little bit more than 12 inches. That would be awesome, though. Um, and yeah. there's a bunch of people asking how to get on the wheel for the next giveaway. So, what are we going to give away next? On the last the stream, what, right now? Time. Are you guys typing Brittany. people out of the chat or, or is this everybody? Yeah, well, that is we're going to pull people out of. Yeah, it's going to be people that's here. We're going to take people out of the chat. If you want to get in, we're going to put Brittany to work adding names. And. Uh, well, we're definitely not going to do back to back to back giveaways because I don't have, you know, thousands of dollars per stream to give away stuff. And. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, Pablo, what? yes, Alejandro yeah, won the giveaway. Uh oh, add me, add me, add me. So, okay. are we going to do the okay. film? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the film one <laughs> at a time because I think two different people ought to get a chance to try it. These are hundred foot rolls, so yeah. If you want to, if you want to get in on on the free rolls i'll do and we'll we'll keep the names in for both so i'm gonna do a 16 inch 20 percent well plus the four inch but we're i mean we're not even going to talk about that there oh you know what 12 inch 12 inches big enough for 12 inches big enough for camaro door glasses and quarters <laughs> It Get is handy for that. Oh no, I know. Those are some slim front doors. They are. So I mean, there's useful places for it. For me, though, there's just not a lot of market for it. So they they take yep. up shelf space. And at the end of the year, if they are still sitting on the shelf, I have to pay taxes on them. So I'd rather give them away. They cost me less money that way. <laughs> <laughs> I know that seems weird, but the tax man is relentless. Well, however, you have to do it. Yes, the twelve-inch rolls are good for visors, and unfortunately, uh, they're twenty percent. So, I mean, if oh, Louis Silva told Brittany, "Don't smoke; it's bad for you." I appreciate that. She smokes way too much. I heard. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. There's got to be um, a way to pull names into a wheel. We haven't found that yet. No. Mm. I'm trying to think. I can't. I can't think of anything. Um. Should look into. 
Streamlabs and Stream Elements a little bit. They probably have something. Oh, for pulling names. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh yeah, let me let me open up the chat thing. Maybe. Yep. Some of them. Some of them do. Uh, like. Like they'll they'll have integrated like mod tools and Streamlabs had a few more for that type of stuff. So I don't know if it would quite work with Facebook, but I do know it would work with Twitch and YouTube. So. But otherwise, so, yeah, it's a lot of typing. All right now. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on, real quick. There's somebody who keeps on wanting to be added, whose name is Facebook user. So if you are watching on Facebook, please type in the chat what your name is. Yeah, if you're on Facebook and you haven't Let's authorized, put him in as stream. Facebook user. <laughs> <laughs> then we know. Yeah, if you haven't Unless authorized restream, if you haven't authorized restream to um share your name it won't so we have every every re avenue that the streams coming from they're coming in here youtube will share a, your name with us and if you've authorized restream facebook will share your name with us but if you haven't went to and i just closed that link it told me i yes, should share I that link with everybody i had to practice my signature um yeah i was we can... nervous because i only have one time to do it so i didn't want to make it super weird but yeah it's on there there's a signature right there above his logo mm -hmm. so it's super cool um how do i undo that it's even got some little nicks in it from the, the brass sprayers yeah they're they're pretty durable <laughs> let's see that we should do this every week. So, Ken, um, we actually do this every week. We don't give away one of Matt's kegs every week, and we don't necessarily have Matt <laughs> on here every week either. But so we're sun distributing, and we do Tool Talk Tuesdays every Tuesday at 4 p.m. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes we Taco have specific Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Sometimes we have specific topics um, or, or tool groups, categories, and then other times we'll just get in here and freestyle and you guys can ask any questions you want and we'll a answer them to the best of our ability. My qualifications are about 33 years in the industry now as a tinner. I do still tint today. I, I tint mainly on Saturdays and I do flat glass because... My body's just gotten too old to want to be climbing in and out of cars, so I let my son do that. Brittany's qualifications is I made her learn how to tint. She didn't really like it or want to do it, but she did take an interest in the PPF, so now she does our PPF for us. And so if ever you call and I answer the phone, there's a good chance she's doing a PPF job or something, and here I am answering the phone. Otherwise, you'll talk to Brittany, but we do make it a point that everybody here that will speak to you has the ability to answer any questions you might have. And if they don't, they can come to me and I will answer your questions because there is a slight chance that I will know. True. All this sudden I saw that there and it's freaking me out. We'll just move it. True. Everybody that's commenting should be added in added into the wheel. I mean you guys are, are making Brittany work. Yes, I like it when Brittany works. She She's good at it. Yeah, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes. <laughs> sometimes she really gets right into it and works. And um, so, Dom Fair, Fair, here are some names. Um, are, Dom, unfortunately, if these people are not in here, we're not going to be adding them to. They this. are in here. Oh well, in that she's case, on it. She'll try and get everybody that, that she can. Yeah. How do we know if we are on the wheel? Um. Well, did you ask to be on the wheel? Because <laughs> Brittany's pretty thorough. She's. He's really good. 
Yeah, we gotta find uh I'm trying to think of where it was I think it was in Streamlabs when I was messing around with that. They'll do some like automatic things where you do like an exclamation mark to to enter. So Facebook user, and this is what we see, just so you know, they asked, are you, are you guys pulling names from YouTube or Facebook? We are actually pulling oh. um, from both. We're pulling from Sun Distributing's Facebook and YouTube stream, and Matt's also got a simultaneous stream going on that we're pulling the names from his YouTube and Facebook also, wherever you see this stream, if you comment, we're pulling your name from it. Now, as you can see here at the bottom, it says Facebook user. For Facebook, that's all we can see unless you have authorized Restream to share your share your uh, name with us. And if you haven't, then it automatically tells us Facebook user. And then you'll want to put your name with so maybe you could just put, if you're on Facebook, just put your name with the, you know, request and that'll, that'll help that out. So. True. True. And Adam, no, you are not the face. So Adam has authorized restream. So it shows his name there. And. He said something about getting boot. Yeah, booted, they'll but... get you one way or another, though. So, just you, if you're just a little unsure and you're on Facebook, just throw your name in there. You'll be fine. Yeah. Just keep or if you're on YouTube and you got a funny name that isn't really recognizable, then you might want to throw your name in there too. But most of the time. And Jeff said he noticed three places, roughly 45 viewers. We're currently at 76 viewers. So we are streaming to six different places. So it's a little much. Look, yeah, keep looking. Kayla said, add me. T Towns is looking for it. Tim's on it. Um, yeah, so this one. The stream is going to look a little different to everybody that's on my channel. It's just a it's a collab thing that we're doing for the giveaway today. So no cars, no cars are being tinted. It's all just chill. We'll do a couple of giveaways. Uh, we already gave away the keg um, that had been announced for a little bit now. So this is some extra stuff that Rick is throwing in there. Yes, right now we've got a couple of rolls of foam we're going to give away. I think I'm going to give away another dash towel. Tinning windows from his YouTube channel. Oh, glad to hear it. Matt is the guy Very that cool. helped a lot of people start tinning windows. Oh, if and you... everybody that's everybody that's watching our stream, if you're not right. subscribed subscribe to Matt's YouTube channel, go search tint stuff on YouTube. Find Matt and go subscribe to his channel. He is, I think, less than 3,000 subscribers away from hitting a hundred thousand subscribers and we want to see this happen this year so don't just subscribe to it but share it and tell your people to subscribe to it it, it doesn't matter i want to see him break a hundred thousand this year we were there <laughs> was that this year or was that that was last year when you hit thirty thousand? Mm, no i think it's i think it's been over a year yeah yeah it, i was i was further along this time last wait year. wasn't it when you turned 30 yeah so that's what we we're shooting for is thirty thousand by your 30th birthday so yeah. how old are you now 33 oh my god it's been that long time goes so fast. that's still a lot of subscribers so yeah if you guys could help us get him pushed over the hundred thousand mark that would be so cool we're trying we're trying to see it happen before the end of the year because <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think starting the whole new year with a whole new hundred thousand subscribers. Ninety six point nine. <laughs> so thirty one hundred more subscribers. Come on, guys, let's do it. We can make this happen. Jaybird said, "Matt for president." That's probably not a bad idea, but he's too busy, so he idea. can't do it. <laughs> Ninety six point nine. Yes. Lots of freaking Matt YouTube going on. You know, and I've known Matt since he was 
I think before he was potty trained, I worked for his dad and he used to come into the shop with his dad and he was so annoying. And memory serves me right. He didn't really have an interest in what we were doing either. He just, but fast forward a bunch of years and look, he's running the show. <laughs> uh, Rick, how big huh? are our dash towels? So we have the extra large ones that are that are 70 inches by 30 inches. And then we oh, okay. have the standard one that is 30 inches by or 60, 60 inches by 30 it? inches. Yeah. So we've got two different sizes. The the soak shield ones and the sun distributing ones are 70 by 30. And I'll be giving a sun distributing one away here shortly. Cause and somebody said on our last stream that we should give away soak shield, soak ropes. Or maybe that was on your stream yesterday. Somebody said some distributing should give away soak ropes because mm. Matt was doing a windshield. So maybe we'll give one of those away too. That'd be cool. They're all Anybody microfiber, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're. it's like a real thin microfiber dash towel. So it's not going to kind of bulk up and get in the way so much. So No, it's... I saw one today. Nice. Seems pretty nice. We'll be using one on stream here pretty soon. Jeff Nyro wants to know if he can give something away. What do you want to give away? <gasps> Are you going to give away one of your lights? Yeah, I'm we down. can get you in on this, bro. Hi, yeah. Bob. I should probably wait for him to answer. I'm I'm all ready for who wants to win a Nyro light. If you get in on the wheel, you're going to be eligible for every every spin we do for the rest of the night. Everybody that gets on the wheel, um, these these improv uh, giveaways that we do, we do require you to be here to win it. So if you get on the wheel and you want to win, stick around because that's that's important, obviously. Yeah, Jeff's offering up a tent light. Uh, Jason, uh, if you want to be on the oh, wheel, nice. just tell me you want to and I will do it. So let me see if I can just find one of these. So this is an interesting question. This person wants to know if you guys have ever used IR lights to get the film to adhere quicker. Um, yes. And it works. I haven't, but it's a good idea. Yeah. So actually, Matt, your dad had one at the Taylor Ameristar. And, uh, oh, okay. It's, I mean, it's effective. Now, here's the problem with a lot of today's newer cars, though. You got to be careful. Like, he had a big one, and it got everything hot. So you want to be careful with some of the, the, the trim edging and stuff around some of yeah. the windows, unlike Hondas and Toyotas especially. But Yeah, so you're going to, like, I know they use it for curing uh, ceramic coatings faster and for vinyl. There's like all types of different ones. There's one that can measure like heat output and whatnot. So just be careful with that type of stuff, but you definitely could. Some people offer like same day roll down as like an add on. That would be, I mean, they would work great for something like that. I mean, you should be okay without it, but just if you want to try and dry them out faster, you could be drying one side while you're tinting the other side. It'd be pretty cool. So Jeff has volunteered to give away one of these for anybody who has not seen the tent light before. And, oh, I wished I could make that bigger. But this is the tent light, and it's pretty pretty cool. So it's 12-volt, plugs into a cigarette lighter plug. <laughs> they have a, a, a plug on the other covers end. and taillight lenses. Yeah, yeah I can see thing. that. I can see that for sure. And it comes with careful. a lot of cord. Now, these things are 51 inches long, so, I mean, they'll cover pretty much the whole top edge, bottom edge of a window. You can set it in the middle, sitting back a little bit, so they're they're really nice, and Jeff is, and they're $85, and Jeff offered to give one away, so definitely get on the wheel, because, uh, like, 
we're gonna we're we're gonna give some well we're gonna give a real film away That's here it. real real quick. Owen. No, not that one. Actually that one. That'll help. It's getting dark. Oh. You have natural lighting. So when we started, Matt was like way brighter than me and Brittany because we're in boxes without windows and now it's getting dark, so he's like uh, it's I actually gotta turn lights on now. Yeah. Our parking ooh, lot ooh. lights are on by the time we leave. Ooh, ooh, what? Um, Jeff, are you planning on making the tent lights with USB since most new cars don't have cigarette lighter plugs? They, uh, they don't have them in great spots. I swear, yeah, the, they all it, still it, do. They're just kind of hidden. But Yeah, like my car's got one in the sure. center console, and it's... Yeah, same and here. And then I, I got this front pocket that way down in the back of it has one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying but to. Yet, think, I, I swear there were a couple maybe that I saw that actually. You're right. I think they might have not had them. And I got USBs all over my car, so yeah, I like that. Yeah, USBs I support that. Way. The yeah, the biggest thing is just if it can supply enough power, because there's a lot of lights on there. So a lot of those car ones too, they're only like sometimes they're like five volts, one amp. So mm -hmm. I think he's got a yeah. Yeah, he recommends the battery jumper charger. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you need a little bit more power, I think. Uh, the keg winner, again, was Alejandro. Um, I'm not going to try and say his last name. It's going to be so bad. But, yes, Alejandro. Alejandro. Hey, look, I'm getting shout-outs. I'm a veteran window tinner. I actually am. I learned. You might be asking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I'm answering. Um. Jeff H wants to be on the wheel. Got him. So, yeah. So I I uh, started tint windows in 1989, and I was just turning 18 years old. And I was working for a stereo shop at the time. And my boss came back and asked me if I want to learn how to tint windows. So I went to Peoria, Illinois, and I learned from a uh, Matico distributor. And we used Matico window film for a little while. And then I've, over the years, used a lot of everybody else's film, too. Oh, Billy says, hi, Matt and Rick. Well, hi, Billy. Hey, Billy. Oh. I see How what's up, are Billy. you? What's up, There's Brittany? There's a lot of hellos. <laughs> oh, Jeremy's, hello. wife, Jeremy's wife is going to purchase him a three-gallon keg for Christmas from us. We love Jeremy's wife. Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, Corey, so you're on the wheel. Uh, have I ever installed PPF on the GLA 250? Let me. Corey, um, I never thought I'd be saying this before, but I, haven't you won enough? <laughs> GLA 250. I'm kidding, Corey. Uh, no, but I have done bumpers that look very similar to that. And I have to say, like, that type of bumper it it's gonna depend it depends a lot on if you're using patterns or if you're bulking but if you're using patterns on that it's gonna be a lot easier than it looks bulking i can't really say because i'm spoiled now and don't have to do that anymore oh me and derek we got something in common i love that i love having things in common with people Yeah, so every time chat keeps going, the wheel goes back up because she's adding names to it. <laughs> yes, it's a lots of fun. She can add like thousands of names to it. So, so invite your friends in here, get them to put their names. Yeah, on David, too. you're on the wheel. Billy's like squirrel. Best way to get leads without using Tint Wiz. Facebook doesn't like me posting ads. Um. Well, I mean, if you're paying for ads, that's one thing. Just just doing a post as is, um, that'll only get shown to so many people. Um, Tint was, I mean, one, you can use it for free. So, I mean, if you're just kind of getting your feet wet with it, you don't have to worry about it so much. But it's not really as much of, like, they have, like, the lead grabber 
or just like a field that you can put on like websites and stuff. So it can help with it, but I wouldn't say it's really, that's like its main thing. What, what TintWiz really does uh, strong to help with leads, I think is, is the proposals feature. Um, yes. But as far as like getting leads, just being in as many places as people can find you is, is one of the most, most important things. So like go, uh, keeping Google, my business is probably one of the most important ones out there. Facebook was kind of iffy for me, uh, but it was helpful uh, depending on how people find you. So uh, like we would keep some of the different platforms busy and we wouldn't get a lot of just natural inquiries that way. I tend to just get more phone calls than anything. So Google My Business is something that, that I, I think is really, I, I take for granted a lot of the time and I don't keep it as busy as what I should. But every time you do a car, you should be posting natively to something like that because Google is trying to feature all the Google services as much as they can. So keeping those things busy, they're definitely going to favor your business over somebody that's not. Um, that that and, and some good old fashioned paid advertising just in your area, see what, what works well for you as far as Google uh, and Facebook, those are the main two. Yeah. Um, Google... I mean, Google is really critical to to just have your stuff up to date on Google. Make sure that your phone yeah. number's right, your hours are right, your address is right. Uh, Google really appreciates that. And also post on your Google page. Post pictures. The more the more active Google sees you, the more they're gonna look at you. So that's important mm -hmm. too. If you just yeah. you know set it and forget it it's not going to do a ton for you unless somebody's searching, you know, window tent near me and you pop up and they happen to call you, but they've probably called the other 27 people that popped up with you. So yeah, you want to be more, more highlighted Google. Google's trying to make themselves look good. So yeah, they're, they're going to show people that look better. If, if that mm. makes sense with fresher yeah. and more new. And content. think of it kind of like, social it's like social media search engine i guess is a good way to look at google my business so they're trying to integrate businesses with their natural search but in a couple of different ways so if you if you look on desktop they'll often feature a business on the right hand side with a little bit more info and those posts so th there's just a few different ways that they can do it and videos are also pretty strong too um, they're, they're always rearranging stuff based on what they think is most relevant to the person that's searching. So like we were saying, the, the busier you can keep that, the better. Oh, wrong, wrong person. Um, this person, yes, we do have a storefront in Waterford. You are welcome to walk in if you would like to purchase things. Mm -hmm. They have like a nice, uh, a really nice tool room that you'd be like a kid in a candy store. Uh, looking around <laughs> at all the different tools, they got even little shopping baskets for you too. So uh, it's a good time. And if you really uh, want to go crazy, as Matt found out, we even have a shopping cart. And <laughs> yeah, a literal shopping cart that I, I got to fill with two shopping baskets and more <laughs> from Toys so, R Us because we know that you're really just a big kid. Yeah. Rick, uh, Derek would like to know how many pieces did you get the Nissan N14 hatch down to before shrinking? It was seven for him. N14. Um, yeah. And if you're on Facebook, just a quick reminder, you need to let me know what your name is because in the chat, most of you pop up as just Facebook user. And then you're going to fight over the price because... <laughs> because there's like five of you at least. Yeah, um, we really need a, a name for an entry. And as so, far as the best chemical to remove adhesive, Epic Orange or ATR, they both look, work really good. So that was a tough one. I don't remember how many pieces for that. It was probably about the same. I did, you know, back then in the late 80s, early 90s, there was a lot of six and seven piece back windows. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize what we went through back then because, sure, you could just cut strips off of um, windows, which is how I was originally taught. But then I learned that you could actually cut these lines on the defroster lines. And if you got good enough, you could hide them and people think you did one piece back windows, which was something that was totally unheard of. And uh, 
but yeah, we uh, we we did lots of pieces, and we could we could make a six piece back window look like it didn't have any. Just yeah, just I one had to piece. look it up. Definitely, yep. Doesn't yeah, that was a goofy fun. car. <laughs> um, the regarding the ATR or or what, what was Epic Orange? Yeah, Epic um, or ATR. I've had good luck with both. I'll give the edge though yeah. to to ATR. ATR seems to like never let me down, and I've had some mixed results with uh, with Epic Orange, at least on automotive films, but. You can probably talk a little bit more about it. I think they also designed it for flat glass, not just auto. Yeah, and it's like ATR, you're going to notice when you use it. it. It's really aggressive, and it's a really, really potent chemical. It's oh, not yeah. harmful. It's not like in, in that way, but it, some, for some people, it's hard to be around. Where the Epic Orange is... is made a little more mild it still does the same job on some adhesives it does seem like it takes a little longer but on flat glass films when you when you peel a layer off and you got that big old layer of cda adhesive you know epic orange is probably your go-to but personally i don't have experience on flat glass with atr because epic orange works so well on it so mm, it, okay yeah it, it, it's, it's kind of like different tool, different purpose, even though they're in the same category and do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I, I, I didn't want to just say, give it to just ATR. That's, that's usually what, what I'll always use is ATR. I've, I've used Epic Orange and I think there was only a handful of times that it didn't seem to work quite as well where ATR was always like, if you want just a solid, uh, adhesive remover that just always seems to work it, it always seemed like atr was was good and i'm the i'm the i'm the tool supplier that you know I, I i'd love to just sit here and sell you products all day but thank me later go buy yourself a gallon of windex in a spray bottle most Actually, of your yeah. adhesives windex will melt it me and matt did a side-by-side -side test on a car you know and and windex kind of kept up with the ATR on that particular adhesive on the older ones. If you get one that is old and purple, that seemed to be really surprising with, with Windex you, you'll spray it and then it won't even like gum up or anything. It'll just disappear. Yeah. It um, turns clear. Yeah. It just, it and just, then you wipe it right off. So, yeah, but there's a, there's, it, there's some adhesives though, that definitely don't respond the same way and, and they'll kind of <laughs> gum up and, and just leave, leave a mess, but it's better. They're off the glass than not. So it seems to like ATR soaks into it a lot. Yeah. ATR is that it's hardcore. It's like steroids, you know, a cleaner on steroids where, but yeah, if you want to save some money and you don't want to use ATR on everything, you can, you can use Windex on a lot of things that you'd be, surprised about Del and i don't <laughs> diluted I don't diluted ammonia if, if you can take it yeah all these no. things be careful when you're spraying them in the back window on a hot day i stopped using ammonia in the 90s oh i couldn't they came yeah, out with lemon scented they came out with lemon scented ammonia and i was so geeked and i got a bottle of that stuff and i jumped in a car on a hot day and started spraying that window i couldn't smell <laughs> it i have no idea what they were talking about and, uh. and some of them too. Yeah. Just ATR seems to be a happy balance. Uh, Epic orange is, is, isn't so bad either. Some, I remember with using some of the citrus ones, we got a lot of complaints from people after we'd remove adhesive. They just, they couldn't stand the smell and they wanted to get rid of it, but there wasn't much we could do about it. Yeah, for sure. There's, there's definitely lots and lots of, uh, Yes, everyone who has commented so far, I keep getting a lot of comments. Am I on the wheel? If you already commented, you're on the wheel. I promise. Unless you're a Facebook user and didn't give well, a Well, I think at this point, all of them have, it seems. But I don't know. So, we'll see. If you're on Facebook and haven't given Brittany your name, give Brittany your name now. There, there, there. We'll just, you know. No, don't do that because every time you say cleaner. that, more people from Facebook end up giving their names. I've heard of and cleaner too. You might. Yeah. 
they might all so do. oven cleaner will work <laughs> brake cleaner will work any acid based cleaner will work but keep in mind guys we're inside of people's cars spraying stuff so we we might want to be careful um yeah that's a floor that's the biggest carp- one too the Car- like, carpet spot cleaner will work too but upholstery yeah upholstery cleaner i actually bought one that was uh, a recommendation i got like three cans of it it doesn't seem to work quite as good as the atr does but it does work and i like that it says upholstery cleaner too so there are there are those ones that they'll work too Brittany I, or um billy i see you asking something about bmws but shrink your thumbs down a little bit more and ask that one more time because I, I'm I'm trying to Windex will Billy slow your thumbs down. So there was somebody that said something exactly. about like, oh now I know why not to use ammonia window cleaners on window film. So it's not just on the adhesive. Because if the film is on the window and they're using it to clean, it's not really getting to the adhesive. The problem there too is that what they found is that over time if you're using ammonia on the outside of your window film, um it can actually damage the clear coat and the clear coat will start to kind of yes. flake and fog up. Um, so that's why they tell you not to use it for cleaning more than the adhesive and, factor. Uh, and mm-hmm. ammonia and plastics don't get along. And yep. ammonia wins. So Stay away from ammonia glass cleaners. All right. So you guys want to spin the wheel again? Let's do it. All right. Let's just spin the wheel again. We're going to do, for this one, Brittany, for your little notepad, the 16-inch roll of 20% Nova. Now, this is good film. It's a lifetime warranty film, and I handpicked it myself, so I know it's great film. It's what I use, or, well, actually, I don't tint in my shop no more. Mary, my wife, runs the shop, and her son Charles does the tinting there, but it's what they use. So... Or the uh, Rick, this is a very important comment. Um, Adam oh. wants to know if you had two options, which would you choose? Number one, hashtag bring Brittany, or two, stop smoking. Oh, uh, well, his name's covering up the three, none of the above. So let's get there's no the three. Spinny wheel. Yep, let's <laughs> get onto the spinny wheel. Uh, what stop? Here we go. Uh, <laughs> it means hashtag bring Brittany. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh boy. Who's that? Mailey Morris? Where's my mouse? Congrats. Yay. I, right? I don't know. Mailey Morris. I think I think that's it. Mailey Morris. I wonder Congrats. if the boys are up front watching the stream. Maybe one of them could bring me a sun distributing dash towel and Pick a real nice soak shield rope. Yay. Oh, I guess I guess we said it right. Okay, so um, make sure that you send us a message yes. on Facebook. Um, you can send it to our business page, but we're going to need your address, your email address, and your phone number so we can get this out to you. Keep spelling yes. my name wrong. <laughs> and also your social security for tax purposes and... Right, yes. right. We're going to need all that information. Um, I need your says, mother's maiden name. Billy says, <laughs> and if you could provide me with at least three of your passwords, that'd be good. Um, Billy says, my boss has taught me to remove with acid. Nice. Please do not. Don't do this. Um, it's bad for you. We sweat with soap and water. And that works great in Arizona. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is if you're in an area where you can sweat film, soap and water on on the glass, put a garbage bag over it and let it sit until it gets hot. And you'd be amazed at how, yeah. 90% rubbing alcohol. I wouldn't. (laughs) Yeah. So rubbing alcohol, it'll burn the adhesive, but it won't dissolve it. So it's still... It will help you remove it, but it's it's going to make a mess. And let's face it, what we want is to be as mess free as possible in doing yep. this. Ultimately, if you if something will dissolve it and you can wipe it right off, that's awesome. Or if uh, 
if you can take something like a gator blade to it, you know, a nice plastic blade that you can just scrape up the back window and take big clumps of it off and put it on a paper towel, nice and neat. Option three, stop smoking and bring Brittany. Hashtag bring Adam. Brittany. Hey, Brittany, that reminds me. You got to send Adam that invoice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for for all of these, though, just there's there's lots of possibilities that can work, but I mean, yeah. The reality is there's a, yeah, there's a couple of companies in the industry that made something that is going to be safe for your customer's car. The last thing you want to do is get $150, $200 to remove some window film and then find out you just spent a thousand dollars replacing a package cover, you know, a package tray, whatever. And so, And Billy makes a great point too. Always, always do a test spot. Make sure it's not going to stain. You know, so do a little test spot someplace that nobody's going to see it, and make sure that. Or just but, overprice all your removals, and then you can let somebody else do them. Yes, that's that's true too. You know, I've gotten really good at removals. <laughs> can I send some an email. I, yeah, yeah. Send them an email. That works. Yes, our email. Yes, I'll, I'll just put get, it up get here. in touch with them. How do you become a certified installer for Geo? Um, they don't have any any type of uh, actual certification. Most most film companies don't. Um, actually, all film companies don't really. Uh, so you can really just go to GeoShield's website. Um, you can create a login and you can browse their films that way, or you can reach out to them um, and uh, and talk to them over the phone, and they'll they'll set you up for sure. WD forty so stripping PPF. And what within else the last that? within the last like I want to say like six months like summertime they 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 made their films available uh, on their site uh, with a login so so you can check them out. So yeah, um, I've never used WD forty to strip PPF off of anything. Um, normally, I'll just use alcohol and burn the adhesive off. Um, if you've got something a little more aggressive, any of the uh, adhesive removers that like tint installers use, we can use. Um, honestly, it, well, I don't want to say that. Never mind. Let me stop. Um, but I've seen people use ATR on like um, like removing vinyl adhesive and things like that. So it's so, okay. Just be careful. Um, yeah. And somebody says uh expel and cp so that ceramic pro both need you to be certified if you want to use their warranty yeah really you, you need to be like an authorized dealer through some of them so they're they're gonna have um extra some of them have extra programs and really you'll kind of know that when you're getting into the film anyways. we'll see you bob the because the the way that they set you up as a dealer they'll make sure that you that you know everything and, and authorize places that'll sell you the film. Cause a lot of these, um, a lot of these companies sell direct to, to dealers now. So you would know that kind of getting into it. So you're not going to hey, be able Brittany. to find like X spell site on, on somebody else's distribution. You'll, you'll be ordering direct through them. Yeah. yeah. And reach out and, you know, talk to the people because, Depending on who you talk to, they're going to have different requirements to get you on board. And the easiest way is to get a hold of a rep and talk to them. Um, most most companies aren't that difficult. A lot of them do require you to have a business license. So start there. Not all of them do. So that's where, you know, that email message or phone call will come in real handy. And real quick, mm -hmm. though, because... You know, Dave's Dave Nairo um, is wanting to give away a light, and I feel like maybe is that what we we're could, doing next? Maybe we could. Oh, that's do separate. A, okay. Yeah, if you want to just yeah, because then go ahead. I gotta hop off here in a bit. Let's see what the wheel has to say. Oh, we only got a half an hour left too, so we've we've held you hostage for an hour and a half, Matt. Here we go. <laughs> tint light. What so if Jeff Nairo wins? Tint light giveaway. 
Yeah, Jeff Jeff wanted to give away a tent light and he's gonna give one Samuel. to Samuel Montez. 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 Awesome. At least that's how I hate Congratulations, that Samuel. Oh, I know. Congrats. It does look kind of straightforward. <laughs> I'm 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 down with that. And Oh, don't be sad. We still got more to give sad. away. We oh, have... there it is. Yep, he's here. Congrats, man. See, that's a, I will say that's the one thing that drives me crazy about giveaways is I hate disappointing other people with all these. So that's sometimes why you don't. That's why you don't see me do a lot of giveaways. <laughs> that's why I like using the wheel because if they lost, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, if you're drawing out of a hat, they could say any number of things too. But they think you ever yeah. did anyways. Yeah, well, ever but since I, um, the the time we, we did a giveaway and one guy won twice in a row, and ever since then, now my chat gives me crap about rigging it. <laughs> yep, makes sense. I mean, I, I can tell you, I, I, don't, I don't think... I, I've been unlucky with pretty much every giveaway anyway, so... Oh, Inky, we're from Michigan, too. We're in Waterford. Oh, I'm from the Metro Detroit area. Oh yeah, us. I have a my business is Detroit Tint Studio. <laughs> yeah, come see us. Super cool. Yes. We can't guarantee Matt yeah. will be here, but like we're still pretty cool, or we yeah, like to usually, tell ourselves we are. Usually not. Yeah, hey. they're a great place to visit. It's worth yeah, Samuel. Make sure that you message Jeff to claim your tint light, please. Oh, there's yes. a Detroit, Florida. Really? Ew. <laughs> David there, Mack. Well, I'm pretty sure you're on the wheel, David. There's a Detroit, Florida. Is there really? Let me look. Yeah, show me where like, it is because we could ro relocate down to Florida and then still keep Detroit 10 Studio, but it'll confuse absolutely everybody. No, it's trying to give me flights from Detroit to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> little bit of confusion there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say it's gonna be a really small town, Alex. non-existent. There's not. There, I had a little bit of hope because of how cold it is oh, here right now. Oh, never mind. Um, how far is Matt from Sun Distributing? Uh, it depends on traffic, like but hour. like fifteen or twenty. Yeah, minutes. half hour. Oh, not fifteen, yeah, twenty minutes. Get bad. out of here. Dude, it's like 20 minutes. I, I just went there today. <laughs> he here. did come here today. <laughs> <laughs> now, it took yeah. a little longer to get home because there was traffic, and Matt is right smack in the middle of a bunch of, like, I don't want to say bad words, but it's not good construction, so. Oh, yeah, the construction here is terrible right now. I They oh. took a great road and decided to rip it all up. Look at Matt. My Chroma Key works, too. Oh, I was going to say you have a black and white one. Oh, no, it's just chroma key. Yeah, so it's black, white, and green. And uh, Oh, okay. So we got to blow through a couple. This is Brittany's favorite part because this is what she wants to do. She wants to spend an entire stream just giving things away. So, like, I realized what time it is. And so I've, I, I, I've got a soak rope that I want to give away. I've got a sun distributing dash towel, which, oh, this lighting in here is just the worst. I got to move lights. And then that um, other roll of film, right? And then I got the roll of ceramic film that I want to give away. So let's, let's, let's do that. All right. Let's, uh, Michigan loves the we're going place, going to place roundabout in this intersection oh, yeah. to save time. But the project will take two years. <laughs> and Michigan <laughs> has too lucky. many damn old in people in it place. to even. Michigan people don't maneuver roundabouts very well at all. Oh, it's so difficult. It's, it was a big deal for some areas because there's so many people that panic when they get to a roundabout. Okay, so, guys, Brittany, I'm sorry. I, I, I added the last person that asked, but I cannot add any more names to the wheel. We got to be quick about this. I'm sorry. I love you all, but. You know, Brittany, it's, it's what's you, up. You you could, but first, before you spin anything, tell me what we're giving away this time. The roll of film. Roll of film. Okay. This is a special cut from, <laughs> from 
Alex Filthy Love Putsy. Um, <laughs> yes, I'll throw him under the freaking bus because it's a supernova that's ceramic. And oh, there we go. Hey, that's way better. Why didn't I think of that? Um, it, it's a hundred foot roll, but it's it's cut 16 4. So it's got a four inch roll in there. You can find out what to do with it. There's got to be something like eyeglasses, screen protectors on phones. I don't know, but um, it's ceramic, so it's great. And then the 16 inch roll that'll do pretty much any sedan set of doors, um, or four doors. So it'll save you some All money right. there. It's, it's useless to me. So if you can use it, you can has it. David wants this so bad, David. Ken Glass oh. wants to know if he can donate a free tent job in New York. Missed MJ Tents. Congratulations. <laughs> David, it missed you by two people. Oh. Okay. Well, would, David. <laughs> tent, a local tent job. I would say sure, but. <laughs> That'll get a little a little weird. No, there there's 77 people on the wheel right now, not 40. I don't know where 40 came up. Um, if somebody gets it in Australia. I don't know if they'll be able to get to you. Alex says congrats. Alex is happy that. for the winners of the window film because now it's not going to be on my shelf, so I won't remind him every day of that mistake. It'll it'll probably be more like every other day because I'll have to remember it on my own. I won't just look at it and be like, oh. So, so Alex is um, happy I can for you. refer you guys over to like the Sun Distributing YouTube channel too. I always grab the Facebook one, but I forget that it's on YouTube. I'm gonna mm -hmm. grab a grab a link. Yeah. Well it's youtube.com forward slash sun distributing, right? Yeah, try to make it you, people don't like to type. They like to click. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I can send a link for you, can I? Um, Rick, no. is, um, shit. Is the, are the soak shield and the dash towel in the same package, or are those two separate giveaways? Two separate giveaways. Okay. Or should, what do we, five, three, seven, uh, yeah, No, let's... we do not sell plotters, unfortunately. I sold the platter once. Yep, it it was an old FC seven thousand graph tech. Oh, I remember then, that one. I hated that one. And then, well, it was old, but then I bought a brand new FC eighty six hundred. Oh, mm -hmm. still amazing. Oh, you didn't like the FC seven thousand? It was old. No, man. ours was like old. old. You had to kick it to get it to work. <laughs> that was that's the one the FC it was seven thousand. That's that's the one. That was the first graph tech. That's the one at my dad's shop. There's well, it's that also the today. isn't isn't that the same as the Q forty two and and the one that you had? Uh, pretty similar. Buttons are a little bit different, but basically the same thing. Okay. Yep, Q42 was good. I mean, those are solid machines. I think what I was most surprised about is that they're still running. I mean, the rollers start to wear out, and then they can replace them. But as far as the machine goes, um, I mean, I can't tell you how many times they've probably kicked it or whatever, too. But it's still, like, they talk about it possibly going down, and, and then it's like they, they have a spare one for that they'll primarily use for vinyl, but they still use that machine day in and day out every day. If his old partner was still talking to him, his old partner has one sitting in his back room that he doesn't use for anything. I'm like, dude. Uh, and it's a old FC 6,000 or 7,000, I believe. And mm -hmm. I'm like, is it, does it work? And he's like, no. Well, it does, but we don't use it. I'm like, why don't you use it? Oh, because I don't know. We're not into that technical stuff. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Yep. Like there, yep. there are situations, even if you just have it hooked up and you want to hand cut everything as, as you found out having the plotter, sometimes it's like, you know what, I'm going to plot these three windows on this car because I just don't feel like dealing with it. And just, yep. Yeah. It's Martin, I mean, I Martin's and, excited. I use the one that I have on stream, it's definitely good for, um, for 
certain windows. I mean, if you want to do it with your whole operation, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, they're, they're handy. Okay. So, um, yeah, so all we have left now is the soak shield and the dash cover. So let's pop oh, this I haven't up. even, you guys haven't even really been announcing this. Um, no, we, people are starting to learn that on Tuesday afternoons, they could come here, watch us and get free shit. And yeah, you've been announcing it, so. All right, here we go. Woo! What do we give it? Soak shield. Soak shield. Oh, soak shield. Got it. Soak shield goes to. Oh. Result, but... <laughs> <laughs> and Brittany's... I love when it gets the name they can't really pronounce. It's just like Lopez. Ah. It's Lopez. <laughs> Rosa, Ro Ro Rosal. you guys need text to speech to announce this. Yeah, yeah. we need well, like a cool British guy to say everything wrong for us. <laughs> oh, so that reminds me. Congrats, though. I am so yeah, sorry, all of you guys. I am not the one. Rosa and Rosa, then Alva. So it's R Rosa Alva. They need a Rosetta Stone. It's not name. spelled that way. That's it. Next time this happens, I'm bringing on someone with the last name Garcia or or Lopez or Martinez because I can't pronounce these. I'm like <laughs> Mayo, my dude. Rosalva. <laughs> Rosalva. Like that. That's how you pronounce Rosalva. Yes. So congratulations, Rosalva. Oh, yes, Thank you, Mike. You're amazing. Okay. All right. Um. All right. You want to do the last one? Maybe. Or should we wait and make, make them wait? No, oh, our, it's not. Our, our, our coffee. My coffee know, we, is is pretty much done now. <laughs> you drink coffee all day, don't you? Mm -hmm. I used to do that back when I was young like you. So. Here we go. You guys ready? Um, Instavan. Um, so Shield just got one. So if you're oh, on the it, wheel, it's. Tim would like to give away a t-shirt. Yeah, email Sun Distributing. Tim wants to give away a t-shirt. I want to give away a dash towel. So let's do the uh, dash yeah, towel you first. can you can claim by email. Let's do yeah, the we can, we can do this this last one and then I can link people over to your stream if you guys wanna have other people give stuff away. I'll let you do that. I don't wanna wanna get involved too much in <laughs> I well matt the, the way this works if if you just leave this will run until we end the stream on your stream so if you want to just leave them there or you can have them come over to our stream oh you okay. got 15 minutes left so yeah okay. so you can leave it's okay um so i just turn him off then boop Bye, Matt. Oh, well, she just, she just. Oh, wait, he started talking again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany's a little jumpy with buttons. Sometimes I think I feel like I want to take buttons away from her. And other times it's like nice that somebody. You else don't them. get to I'll decide. Shut off the channels then, because if I'm not there, it's a little weird. Okay. If you shut off the channels, then their stream ends. So if their streams are ending. Go to YouTube. Yeah, I'll link it. Um, yeah. Um, it it it's our stream too, David. Okay, it's our stream too. It's streaming yeah. on both our channels. So you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do, All okay, right. So do that one. So click the link in your chat if your stream stops because um, yeah. Absolutely, Matt. We really appreciate you being a part of this. 
In fact, let's bring Matt up here so that we can all properly say goodbye because Brittany just wants to show the we'll wheel. Do the, She's part of her wheel. We'll do the wheel first and then. Oh, okay. We'll do the wheel. Brittany. Because you're right there. Why what? is it on Corey oh, Case's he... name? Did you spin the wheel? No. Oh. Once we spin the wheel, it comes up with the confetti and stuff, and that's who won. So the winner is going to be Travis Lee. Travis, Travis Lee. Lee, a name everybody I can, can pronounce. And it rhymed with the winner is going to be Travis Lee. <laughs> I love that. Travis gets a dash towel. Congrats, Matt man. wishes to leave, and Tim is going to give away a t-shirt. But once Matt's gone. Once Matt's gone. He doesn't want Matt okay. to see the t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, so I'm going to link in mine, um, Sun Distributing, so if you guys want to be a part of any more giveaways there, um, I'm going to take off here. So I'm going to end the stream on this side of things. They have that still going for another half an hour or another 15 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah. So something you guys like pop that. over there. Um, thank you for hanging out today. Um, this was, uh, this was good fun. I'm glad we could finally give away the keg. So congrats to everybody that won stuffs today. And, uh, and sorry to everybody that didn't sad face, but you know, there'll be other ones. So. Stay tuned for those. But I will see you guys later. You guys have a good rest of your stream. Bye. Yes, you too, Matt. Thanks for coming by. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Try <not. laughs> uh, yes, on, Dom, you are on there. Unfortunately, <laughs> Once the wheel gets so many entries, it becomes very hard for you guys to see your name.